that's a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, uh, can anybody tell me what an electromagnet is? On the right track. Let's uh break down his name. Think about it. Electro sounds like what? Electric. Electric. Electricity, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and then the last part is magnet. Magnet, magnet right? Mm -hmm. So electromagnet is going to use electricity to make a magnet. Very good. Okay. So look, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the process of making an electromagnet. Okay. And then we're going to break off into groups. We'll each grab our pile of materials, and I want y'all to replicate that. Do exactly how I did it. And what you're going to do, you're going to test the strength of your electromagnet by how many paper clips it can pick up, okay? And I want y'all to fill this out here on your chart. And I'll be floating around to help out everybody, build it right, and test your, your product, okay? Then after we do it the first go round, we're going to change up a few things. You see here? We're going to change up with a different battery of your choice. We're going to change it up with how many times you wrap the wire around the nail and everything, okay? And we're going to test those out and see what different variables make different changes in our electric magnet, whether it made it stronger or weaker, okay? So, to get things started, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your nail, okay? And now your nail's not going to hook up to your battery. What you're going to do is you're going to use this piece of wire. And you're going to use this wire and kind of clamp it right here with your fingers. See this? Mm -hmm. And then when you do that, you're going to take this other one and we're going to wrap it around. Now, how many times did I just wrap it around? One. One. We're going to start with 20. Okay? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Okay, now look, I want everybody to look real close. It's nice and tight, right? It has to make contact, right? Because think about electricity. If it's not if it's not hugged around the nail, is the nail gonna get the electricity? Mm -hmm. No, you have to be sure you wrap it nice and tight. And look, even when you do this, you can even kind of squish it together. Yeah, y'all can touch it, yeah, that's fine. Okay, but, but you see how tight it is? It's not loose, okay? Because you have to make contact with it, all right? So you see how I did it though? Nice and easy, right? If you kind of clamp it with those little pincher fingers, you can you can twist it around kind of easily. You see how it's done? Okay? Now, just because this wire is around the nail, does it have electricity? Mm -hmm. No. What's going to give it electricity? The battery. The battery. Now, if I'm touching to one end, does it have electricity? No. Why? Because you're touching it. Tell me, Charles. There's only one end. How do I complete this circuit, right? Electricity flows around put it on the other end. Now, how am I going to keep it connected? The tape. Okay, so I have some electrical tape, and this is really where teamwork is going to come into handy, okay? I want, and, and I'll be floating around to help you all out, especially getting the tape started, okay? But you're going to take a piece off. And like I said, it's a lot easier with a little bit of teamwork. And you got to make sure that they're touching both ends just good. And you can just tape it up on here, okay? See how I'm doing this? And then once you've taped it around, just to make sure that you have contact, you now have an electromagnet, okay? So now the, the nail now has some electricity, okay? Is this enough electricity to hurt you guys? Yes. Wait, no, no, obviously not, guys. I would never try to hurt any of y'all, okay? And so that's what you're going to do, all right? Once you've done this, you will test this electromagnet with your pile of paper clips, okay? So you see I got a pile of paper clips, your nail, battery, wire, and some tape for everybody, okay? <laughs> that's going to be your materials. I'm not going to test y'all because I want to see what y'all come up with on your own, with your own discoveries of making your own electromagnet, okay? Because that data is going to be recorded on your little data sheets, okay? See, the first one says with what? With how many? 20. 20, not clips, 20 coils. 20 times you wrap it around, I want you to tell me how many paper clips it filled up in this spot, okay? 
And then the next time we're going to change it, right? It says what? With a few. With fewer. And we're going to test it out there, okay? Then even once we get to the bottom, I'm going to let y'all choose different batteries to test even too. Even that big, big one, okay? <laughs> so we're going to test those out. Is everybody ready? Yes, sir. I want everybody, I want one group at a time of um, girls. Why don't you grab your materials and y'all can sit over here and do yours. Um, Mark and Gavin, grab your materials and we all construct your electromagnet here at this table. And then once they're out the way, guns, Charles and Mike, go get your materials and y'all can set yours up. Uh, let's say over here on Wise Table, okay? That way y'all have a little space to work, okay? Sure. All right, so look, guys, y'all start working together as a team, as a group, to construct your electromagnet, okay? I'm going to float around. I'll help out if you need it. Once y'all get started, now, now look, baby, remember, you're going to need to leave a good bit of room to connect it to your battery, right? Very good, right? So where would you plant it? There you go. Look, once y'all get started, I'm going to pass out your data sheets. That way y'all can start recording once it's built and y'all can see how many paper clips you're going to pick up, okay? Good teamwork, guys. Good teamwork. Good, Charles. Be careful. Let's get some of the ladies. You want to do it? Yeah, look. Let me show you. Try to... Um, Remember, you're going to need to connect both ends to your battery, right? To complete your circuit. Do you have enough room to connect it here? Not yet, right? So look, when you start coiling, look, I gave you a bunch and bunch of wires. Why don't you start up a little bit? That way you have a lot of room left to connect to your battery, okay? So then you go here and look, pinch it. Just like that, pinch it real tight. Now this is where teammates can come in. Or, or you can do it, alright? One coil, well once you get one, you're going. Good job. Make sure they're nice and tight to make contact, okay? That's right. Keep count. Look, your teammate can help count, okay? Make sure you start. We're going to start with 20 to see what happens there, okay? Well, well you know what? That's kind of up to you, and that's something else that we can experiment with. If you want, you can start at the top, or you can kind of wrap it around in the middle, but 20 coils is going to go a long way, so you might want to leave enough room to where you, you're sure you can get in 20 coils. Does that make sense? Yeah, scoot up a little bit, that way you, you have plenty of room. Right there, try it there. Have a little slot. Now look, did y'all notice how I've done mine? Just bend it. Well, you can just bend it, but like, look, did I did I connect it on the ends? Yes. I didn't connect it on the very tippy tail ends, right? Where did I take it? I take it up there in the middle, right? You see, so as long as you have your contact, you can have a whole bunch left over. You, you know, because you might want the left over for the bigger battery. That's why I wasn't cutting. Y'all need it. Well, not up there. Remember, you're going to need a lot of slack to connect it to your battery. Y'all want me to cut them? Is it too much? Well, look. You see how I had done it? See, you can connect your battery way closer. You see? Up here. You see what I'm saying? If you had used teammates, see, you can clamp it right there. And then this end, you can clamp right there and have Gavin tape it up to it. Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? Here. Do you need help taping? Or you got it? Y'all got it? Y'all a good team. Y'all work good together. That's looking good. Make sure it's on the line. Okay? Where it gets good contact. Okay? Ma'am? Well, when you're wrapping it, you want to make sure that you can still get it. Real, real good. See? So look, if I was wrapping it, 
and get a good wrap in now. See, I'm not going like like this. That's okay. Unwind it. Unwind it. And then when you go to rewind it back up, make sure you kind of plug in on that wire the whole time. That way it makes good contact. And look, remember, it's, it's, it's so big, you don't even have to worry about it. Look, store another nothing. It's so big, you don't even worry about it. You've got plenty of wire to work with. Guys, if you if you feel good about the construction of your electromagnet, I'm gonna give you your data sheet, and then you can start testing. Okay? So the uh, first thing we're doing is what the first line with 20 coils, right? What are you What are you concerned about? Mm -hmm. So that's good. So look, that, that, that's pretty good. So look, you gotta make sure that they're both making contact, right? They, down the tape. All right, so you're pretty good here. This should be a pretty decent. Well, guess, so this should be a pretty decent electromagnet. I like the way y'all just worked out. Okay. So now, through teamwork, you want to leave those laying on your desk. You don't want to have to hold them up. Through teamwork, y'all can work together to load it around and see if it's going to pick any up. Yeah. What do you need to for the tape? Cut the tape. Can I give you a bullet like this? Well, you might want to leave a little slack. Did, did you see how mine looked? Mine, I left a little slack. You see? Oh, oh, like that. Yeah. Did that make sense? You see? Do y'all need scissors to cut the tape, Martin? Yeah. Yeah? Yes, I do. Look, well, you have a lot of extra that you can leave hanging over if you need, alright, guys? Alright, so look, press down on it real good with your thumbs to make sure it's making good contact, okay? Huh? That's okay. I think that's good. Look, press real tight. Is it making contact? Alright, I think your electromagnet looks really, really good. I think that you've made contact on both ends. So your electrical circuit is complete. So now, no, no, leave those just in case. So what I would do, there you go, is leave those papers on your desk and put it around to see how many paper clips it's going to pick up, okay? And look, as you do that, I want you to record it on your chart, guys. All right, well, no, 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 hold on. Give me two seconds, girls. Let me show these guys here. All right, so look, the first one you're doing is this first row, right, with 20 coils. Test it out and see how many it picks up and fill it in right here, okay? So look, if you've constructed it right, let's see. You got contact? Yep. On both ends, right? So your circuit's complete. That means there's electricity going through here and this should pick up paper clips. What I would do, excuse me, leave your paper clips laying down your desk, okay? Try to spread them out. And what you do, you take that and you kind of float it over it, okay? And you can go down and you can touch it. But, and then you use that to see how many it's going to pick up. Isn't that cool? Whoa. So, look. Look, take turns, and I want you to try to figure them out. Look, this is the first row, right? How many holes did you put, ladies? So that's what I want you to, on this line, I want you to tell me how many paper clips you're ready to pick up at the 24 hours, okay? Cool? You have a pencil? Um, yeah. Here, here, I, I got one. Here you go. 
Yo, you got to do Oh, let me do it. Huh? Hey, what's up? Okay, Well, that might be a little bit Now, did y'all try it? Y'all test it? Well, that's cool. Okay, so now, if you've tested cool, what's the next thing that your chart asks you to do? What do you think, teammate? So all this thing that says fewer, you want to try like 10? So you start at 10. Okay, so now, in order to do that, what do you have to do? You have to undo and reconstruct your electromagnet, but this time you're only going to use how many coils? And just test it out. Tell me, th tell me this real quick, just kind of for extra. How many do you think it's going to pick up? Two. You do going half coils and pick up half the amount of paper clips? No, I, I think you're on the right track. Oh, see, that's. that's what I'm thinking. I like the way you're thinking. Because since there's too many, if there's too many, the electricity is not going to pass fast. And maybe at 10, the electricity will go 10 times fast. I don't know about, I don't know about, about the speed. I'm not really sure. All right, come on, teammate. You might need to help hold it, okay? You cheat. Yeah, yeah. Look, look. Don't, don't hook them. There you go. So, how many of those have been able to pick up so far, guys? One. No, two. Two. But I can drop, but but three, but but three. Did you get three? One, one, one time you got three of them to afford to pick up? All right, so look. So with 20 coils, right, you have to round them 20, uh, 20 times, right? How many was it? What was your best best attempt? Was it three? So on your chart, where do you want to put three? Very good. Okay. So, all right, listen up, Mark. So what's the next one I want you to do? But fewer coils. So if there's 20 here, if fewer means what? More or less? Less. So if there's 20, how many do you want to try next? I'm wrapping 19. Just 19? You want to go a little more or less? I'm wrapping 14. 14? I'm cool with that. Can we try that? Okay, so look, so in order to do that, we have to take this apart, right? Untape it. You're thinking about seven? So, there's 20, you want to go half way, is it 10? That makes sense, huh? Let's do that. Here, I'm going to go. Well, 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 hold on, yeah, let's undo it. All right, so let's take it. We're going to go, we're going to just cut it in half. We're going to do 10. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing, right? Or are you going to take off? Right? Can I use y'all 10? I need to get y'all I'll do it All right, so try with 10. Do the exact same thing. And then record your data right here on this square, okay? Cool. But y'all just hold on to those, all right? Thanks. Here you go, guys. Okay, so this is it. All right, so how many y'all going to try? 10. 10? That's a good idea, right? You started with 20. So you're going to do the same thing. Make sure you're still nice and tight to where you can have a contact. Yeah, that's right. Okay, make sure that you're going to do the same thing. Yeah, that's right. Nice and tight? Yeah. Let me ask y'all a question. You're doing half as many. How many of you have to put your name in? With 
That's why I was going to investigate. Go ahead. Work it out. Can we should break it out. Break it out. Figure it out. Then once again. Can we change the battery and see how the battery works? Well, for, for these, we're going to use the same battery because the only thing we want to change is how many coils we're putting around the nail. But then what are your last two categories? So, so the last two, you're going to get to choose from a different pattern. You're going to have a lot of different options over there, too. So that's when you get to test get some bigger ones, some smaller ones, and you get to figure out what they're going to do. Um, for your that's So there, you all the two batteries? Oh, Charles. Your prediction was pretty close, wasn't it? What do you think is going to happen now? We're going to have more. You think so? Yeah. Does more coils mean more paper clips? Probably yes. Right. So you're going to test this out the exact same way and record your data in this box and then tell me what the difference is going to be, okay? Be careful, then. Did it make contact? Yeah, we good? Squeeze it real tight. Make sure it's in, they can be contact so you have a good magnet, okay? All right, I think you're cool. Then what's the next thing that your charts asking you to do? With so that one was less, and it picked up less paper clips, right? Now they're asking you to do more cores. So what are you going to do? Well, well, you started with 20, right? So they, they mean they want you to do more than 20. How many do you want to do? 30. 30? Just give a count by 10? Yeah? So look. We have fewer coils to pick up fewer paper clips. What do you think is going to happen if you put more coils? I want to keep hold on, hold on. Th think about this real quick. You used fewer coils to pick up fewer paper clips. What's going to happen if you add more coils? You think so? Let me know. Okay, that's fine. So, so write it down, and then what's the next thing they want you to try? More. So if you start with 20 coils, they want a bigger number than that. They want to be more than 20. How many y'all want to try? Try. 10, 20, 30. Yeah, do that. Stick count them like that. But make sure they're all nice and tight, and, and you can make them all kind of close to each other, too. That way that electricity is really flowing through your nail, okay? Oh, good. I, I, I like that. You're, you're filling your chart out really good, too. Look, guys. Hey. Look. Wyatt and Charles over there, they're answering this. Look, you have to let me know how many coals you try. See, so if you only put 10, make sure you put a 10 here, and then we'll go back to the test. And I mean, and check our data at the end of the experiment to see how many you had. So how many did you try here? We had like But how many coils did you put? There you go, you gotta put your 10 right there. Very good. It changed. It's so strong. Whoa! It is so strong that one paper clip can hold on to another. That is pretty neat. Yeah, six. Six. All right, so gentlemen, if you're ready to move on to the last two stages, why don't you go ahead and undo your electromagnet there. Look, all right, so look, I'll undo this for you. 
as a group, go on over there and decide what battery you'd like to test next. Wait, let's see the big, like the big batteries. Pass this battery. This battery. Okay, look, that's a great choice. Now look, in order to go back to like a normal common ground, you want to start with how many coils. So we'll go back to the 20 coils, but we're, this time we're testing what different batteries are going to do, right? And how that's going to affect the outcome. Cool? What? If each one is big, big, you got to say the big, big one for last? Cool? Cool? I like it. Good idea. Yes, Doug. 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 Yes,
We're good? All right. Well, we're back on it, okay, guys? So look, if your nails are set up, I think you're good there, okay? As long as it's touching those ones. And look, girls, what you can do, because you have the slack. See how this is kind of coiled? Look, just clip it in there. Okay? Yeah, yeah, you don't have to. There you go. Tape and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And then even on this one, see here? Just clip it in. There you go. No, you're good. Because look, you're making contact. You're making contact. So is your circuit complete? Yeah. Now let's see how many uh, paper clips it'll pick up. Um, Mr. Mike? Nice. Nice. We have a dead battery. Your circuit wasn't complete, so is your circuit complete now? That's okay. Behind that time? That's really good. It was so powerful, one of the other paper clips became magnetized as well and picked up others. That is really cool. How many are y'all getting, girls? Is it, is it, all right, if you're getting zero, make sure that you're getting contact. Because you should probably at least get one, right? Can, well, how many you got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six. Wow. It's cold. It's cold. Well, hey, that's why we test them, right? We thought, hey, different battery, it has might have different power. You might only pick up one. Can we get the new battery? So, uh, all right, look, uh, guys, guys, go ahead. If y'all don't mind, bring some of your supplies back here to my table because I want to talk about the data y'all collected on your uh, on the data chart, okay? I'm going to let the girls get this their, uh, their battery. Run down there super, super quick. That's good. Look, here. Let's test it out. Guys, we're not playing. You have to put your stuff back, okay? So, undo it, Mr. Mike. Let's see. Mr. Mike, undo it. How many you got? Two. Three. Oh. How many we got? Five. In five? In five is more. I don't know if it's going to have that much power. Are we staying at five? It's still a pretty good bit more than what the other battery was doing, right? Record your data. Y'all mind if I go ahead and put this up because I want to get together and have a little group discussion. Is that cool? I'm not sure about that. Can we take this off, Mr. Mike? Huh? Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, take that off. Come turn in your materials. We want to get together as a group and just have a little discussion. Y'all cool with that? Thank you, Gavin. Oh, no, no, hold on to your paper, because that's what we're going to discuss. All right, I got all this. I got all this. So how powerful is that battery? Good one. Um, eight for the first time. Eight. Yeah, how hard is it? Turn your materials. Our tiny battery, Mike. Oh, we got one. Yeah, tiny. Yeah, bigger game. That has six bolts, right? Six bolts. 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 All right, so look, guys. Everybody, y'all have a seat. 
Let me have a seat with your chart because I want to discuss this for a minute, okay? Put those up, Gabby. Thank you. Thank you, Gabby. Let me get that wide right now. All right, Charles, look, have a seat because this, this is where the discussion comes in, okay? I got it. I got it. All right. That's fine. Okay, so, very first one, we all use the same battery, and we you all use 20 coils, right? Yes. How many did y'all pick up? Three. What about y'all? Three. How many did y'all pick up? Four. 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 That's pretty even, right? Now, what did y'all notice? Everybody's next step, we went fewer coils. Did y'all pick up more or fewer paper clips? Fewer. fewer. fewer? What about y'all? What about y'all? Y'all didn't, right here, y'all had fewer uh, coils. Did y'all pick So is that more or fewer? Fewer. So is it fair to say, does everybody agree, if you have fewer coils, you're going to pick up less paper clips, right? What happened on the next step? Because the next step, everybody put more coils around it, right? Mm -hmm. What happened there? Did y'all pick up more or less paper clips? More. So is it fair to say that more coils means that you're going to have what? More. No, amount. Amount of coils. Uh, 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 the more amount of coils. Not too many coils, or it might not work. Too many coils might not. Now, we didn't test that all the way, right? But... From what we know right now, what we tested, we know fewer coils equals fewer paper clips picked up. More coils means more paper clips picked up, right? The last thing we tested was a different battery, right? Mm -hmm. So girls, what battery did y'all choose to test? Y'all chose the big, big, the big, big square six volt battery. How many paper clips did you pick up there? Five. Five. Was that more than the other battery picked up? Mm -hmm. oh. Big battery. Six gigabytes. Yeah, that's how much it weighs. Yeah, volt, not volt, baby. Yeah, yeah, that's close. So, y'all know your bigger power battery picked up ah. more paper clips, right? What about you guys? Y'all chose the same battery to test, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all picked up seven. So again, the bigger battery, more power, picked up more, more, paper. more of the paper clips. Very good, yeah. Good deal, man. We, got, we got the medium sized one, the number nine, and you okay. only got one. And you only got one. Now look, that's cool. I'm glad this group chose to pick out a different battery because that gives us a different test, right? That you were still able to test that and figure. Is that going to give me more or less power? Did that give you more power or less power? Less. 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 Less power. So the smaller the battery, small. Small the battery, small the number of paper clips it picks up, right? Like that teensy tiny one, it's probably just going to pick up zero. It might pick up zero. That's going to be something else we're going to have to test. Guys, I think y'all did a great job. Y'all, um, if you want, y'all can huddle up or even trade data charts and talk about it a little bit. But uh, excellent job on the experiment, guys. I really do appreciate that. I think that's awesome, y'all.